Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I have a Philip Outdoor um, light to show you guys. So this is like an RGB kind of a light. You can control it through uh, your phone, through an app or in, as long as you have internet access. Um, it can have like 16 million different colors and you can also do some fancy stuff with it providing you have a Philip Hue um, bridge. Now this is a courtesy of um, Amazon Vine program. Um, thank you for your support because you are helping me to grow my channel and um, I'm now a kind of a reviewer for Amazon where they send me products to review and um, this is one of the products. Uh, currently on the market for £129.99 so it's kind of on the high end of this kind of um, RGB um, color lights. Um, this is rated for outdoor, so it should be able to rain on it. Um, elements shouldn't affect it at all. Now, I haven't seen this product in real, and uh, this is the first time I'm opening the box, so this will give you a rough idea of what you are buying. If you find my video useful, please consider to subscribe and uh, put a thumbs up for the like. Thank you, Philip, for sending me this product. And this don't usually come with the bridge, which is kind of a control unit for the range of um, LED product. Um, they're kindly enough to send me a bridge so I can actually use the light. But I also told that you can use a limited function without the bridge. So you can still use like Alexa to control it, but um, your Alexa device has to be in range with the light. But I got a bridge, so I'm going to test it out today as well. So if we come at close a look at the product itself, it does use a Zigbee kind of um, standard. So like I say, Alexa will work with it, although not fully. Um, the box is really nice design, and uh, this is what I would expect if I'm paying 120, 130 pounds for a outdoor light. Now inside you find an information leaflet and a get started guide. And that's it. it. So this is the light itself. It's a very sleek design I have to say um, because it's like a matte black and it's made from kind of alloy material. Now you've got <clears throat> you got LED on the top and you got LED at the la uh, at the bottom. Um, this can change color to um, according to the app. Um, you can set the mood whatever you want it to do, and uh, you can set timer so you can switch on or switch off at a certain time, and you can change color um, of the light as you wish. Now, looking at this, first thing I will thought is if you're going to put it outside, it's going to be rained on. Um, it is waterproof because obviously this is designed to be used in the outdoor and you can see there is a little drain hole on the top here So if it does rain on it and it will not be like a swimming pool on top The water will just runs off these two kind of a drain hole and comes out from the bottom Now to get into the core of the light to install um, you do need to use a uh, Philip screwdriver to undo this plot and then you can take the back cover off, which I'm going to do right now. Okay, so once you open the back, you can see there's a chalk block here for you to connect your live neutral and your ground wire here and this I guess is the little computer which tells the lights what to do in terms it powers the LED in inside. In the instruction booklet what it asks you to do is to mark up where you want to mount the light and what you need to do is drill holes through the back plate here into the wall and then you mount it wherever you want and then once you've got the plate mounted you connect the wire up and then at the last uh, kind of a step is you kind of hang it onto the back plate with the two screws which are just undone and then it goes onto the wall. Um, I don't know how they can simplify the design but to be honest with you 
might not be a DIY job for everyone because you do need to have power, kind of um, electric power running to where you need to mount the wall light. Now this is designed to sit flush against the wall, so the best scenario will be if you already have a wall light, you just take off the old one, connect the wire to existing power wire into the back of this socket, and you can hide the wires kind of through this grommet so nothing in nothing show in view. So you get a clean wall with this flood, flooding the color light up and bottom. But bear in mind that if you don't already have a power um, coming through the wall, so you might have to drill a hole through your wall to let the um, the wire come through, or you have to run a wire down and then into the machine where you will have a conduit or you can see the wire where the light is flooding up or, or down which is not kind of an ideal scenario so just bear that in mind if you're looking for an outdoor light which is going to be wall mounted it's not just fillet, any kind of light unless it runs on battery if you need main power this is what you need to do so for the demonstration I have hardwired the um, light to my main supply, so we've got live and neutral and the earth, so this is ready to get plugged in and then I've got a bridge with the ethernet cable and the power supply, so I'm going to plug them in right now and then I'm going to download the app and, and then to show you guys um, the setup. Okay, so this is powered up, just a normal light um, so the bridge, once you plug it in, it shows like some LEDs there to show you that it is powered up. Okay, so I've got Ethernet cable connected to my router underneath here and I got everything kind of powered up. Now all this is useless because if you, without the controlling, <clears throat> without anything controlling the light, it's just a very expensive wall light which does nothing apart from up and down lighting I should put it sideways so you guys can see that the light is coming from both sides now let me find the app I think it's fairly few okay it's not it's not that hard to find because it's quite popular install it's 18.5 Three nine megabytes, so it's not that big a file. Uh, I don't know if you can see what's happening right now, so I'm going to press open. I'm searching for huge bridges, so it's kind of doing a thing now. Okay, it looks like you're having trouble. Um, let's go. Do you have a huge bridge? Yes, I do. Mm, okay, so second time lucky. Um, one new huge bridge find, so set up. Press the push link button on huge bridge when you want to connect to it. So, oh, so in the middle of the bridge is actually the button. Alright, so it comes to the screen. Yeah, terms and condition, agree, accept. Mm -hmm. So first thing it asks you to do is um, do you want to add any lights? So currently of course this is new, they sent to me uh, brand new, so um, I need to add lights. We have lights here, so let's do that. Um, yeah. Having problem finding a light here. Okay, add serial number. So um, in front of the booklet, that's where my serial number is. So I'm going to add serial number. It's a six number or character. So mine is one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's match. So let's do that. <clears throat> so basically just type in the serial number. Okay. search I think okay so automatically you found the light so it is the hue outdoor war number one same new one here 
and then <coughs> we go to light setup. <coughs> um, do we need to create a room? Maybe not. If I click on that, you want to add more light, tell me when to continue, to rename. I'm happy with that. So, oh, there was a blink there. Um, oh, look, when I press it, it kind of send a command to it, but obviously they don't know what to do yet. So, um, I'm going to rename this. And you can change the name, you can change the logo or the icon. I'm just going to change it to Garden Light because it's easier if I use the voice recognition. Uh, I think later on. Right. Okay, room setup. No room created. I'm going to create. I'm going to create a room, and it's not exactly a room. I think this is going to be the garden because I expect this is going to sit in my garden. So. Okay, so garden is one, and then what? Let's carry on. Congratulations, it's up and running. Let's go. So all garden light is on. So from the app, you should be able to control everything that this light does. Now bear in mind that this needs to be in range with the light. And according to the instructions, um, let me see. So indoor is a maximum of 10 meters. Um, outdoor is 20 meters and line of sight. So you need to have this kind of close to the light, I guess. So um, off, you can see that. On, very clever. Okay, got it. So what else can it do? Um, you can turn the brightness up and down, I think. So if I slide all the way down, so this is, this is still on. So don't, don't get me wrong, this is 1%, 50%, and 100%. So I'm going to switch off the light later to show you um, what, what else can it do and all that. So what else can it do? So if I click on the light itself, so it gives you a bit more function. So for example, you can do, oh, this is like themes, relax, Arctic Aurora. Havana Sun. Okay, so basically this is kind of a preset of a different color. Let's say if I'm sitting under the light, I want to read. Change it to that. So this one's supposed to be energizing. Uh, this is a night light. So I guess tropical. All right, so enough of that. You can also set the color by using the app color palette. So you can move it around and it will change. Like I say, this can this can give you like 16 million different color. If I go to full blast, if I want like purple, green, yellow, a bit of red. I mean, if you are into setting, if you like your RGB, the icon of RGB, if you like your color lights, I guess this is kind of perfect. So every day you can set it to a uh, different lights that you want. You can add more lights to this, so you can synchronize all the lights to have the same color. So um, if you're going to buy more than one of these, if they are kind of in the resets of uh, a place and you have two the same light, you don't want them to be different color, this is a bit bored, unless it's a different zone. So if you want them to be the same color lights, you can set them into one group and then you can change all the color at once. Uh, wake up, so you can create a routine, so you can tell Tell the machine that, for example, um, seven o'clock, turn it on, different color or what, what are you? But it's not specifically for this light. So if you have multiple devices, you can set up a routine. For example, seven o'clock, switch on all the lights to the yellow sunset color. So those are the options that you can do, and you can do it like um, a wake up call, like a fade in. So it doesn't switch on automatically all at once. So you can do it actually. Kind of slowly increase in brightness. Um, obviously, this will be more useful if you have a light bulb in your bedroom, but this is like an outdoor light, so you might want to do a kind of a switch off as a timer rather than a wake up function, but it is there if you want.
a timer so you can tell it to kind of um, switch off in 30 minutes or switch off in half an hour so if you're in the garden and then um, you're going to going away for a little bit and you might not come back and switch it off you can actually set a timer like 10 minutes 10 hours whatever that is okay for this part of the test um, basically I have the light um, connected to my battery pack and my battery pack can run a um, kind of a mains power out from the inverter so the light is actually power from the mains but obviously from this power pack so I can actually move about um, to show you guys what it's like so what I want to try and find out is how far the light can be away from the actual controller now my garden is out there so what I will try to do is I will walk out um, with this and my phone and I will leave this in a different part of my garden and see how well um, or how far away can it be connected and um, to see what the range is because a lot of the time it's like they say it's 10 to 20 meters but what if you have a really big garden or if there's walls in between so uh, you never know uh, this at the end of the day this is designed to be outdoor use and um, this needs to connect it to your ethernet so uh, I guess a lot of the time this will be indoor and you want this to be outside so this will be a good test to see um, if it works or not okay I don't mean to scare you guys like this but basically I'm holding my light with the petri pack and um, that's where my computer desk and the controller is so I'm just going to sit it out here. Oh, the garden lights went up so you can see a bit. So I'm actually outside in my garden. I'm just going to prop this down. And um, get my phone out and start the app. And see if it will be able to control control the light. So we are about... I would say five, six meters away from the controller, and I'm going to do a switch test. So this is off. This is on. So it passed the test. So it passed the test where um, the controller is indoor, and this is outdoor. So if I do want to mount it, let's say on this wall here. It will have no problem but I want to install it a bit further down in my garden maybe halfway or even at my studio right at the back so let's see how far it can go so I'm lucky to have a battery pack where I can use it to power the light because I don't want to fix it onto the wall and then find out that it doesn't work Obviously, I have internet at the back here, so um, the worst case scenario, I just have to install the bridge on this side of the wall. So let's prop it down here. Ooh, it's chilly here. Okay, so once again, oh, can you see my face here? Yep. So once again, I got my app. Now we are about 20 meters away from the bridge, right at the other side where my house is and I'm going to try and see if I can turn it on and off with just the app so that's off that's on uh, let's change it to Safana Sun change color so it works so it has no problem full power back to bright yeah so it does work. Um, distance wise, 20 meters, 25 meters is okay. Through one wall or window is okay as well. So um, yeah, fantastic. Well done, Philips. Oh, by the way, my phone is on 4G. So um, once you have it set up, as long as you have internet access, you can.
less than five minutes I got everything set up literally plug and play um, the most difficult part about this installation will be choosing where you want to mount your light and having the power supply ready for the light itself um, you do it does involve some kind of heavy drilling into the wall or into wood whatever that you're mounting them on but the product itself, the software, I have to say is I'm very impressed with the software and um, the bridge, yes, it's a hassle because a lot of the lights on the market no longer need to have a controller but I do believe that, you know, um, the controller function very well um, like previously when I tested, um, this is indoor right here and it has no problem going through a window or wall to um, six or ten meters away from the outside of uh, outside wall of my building, and even at twenty meters at the end of my garden, where this will be through a wall or window, another twenty meter in distance, it has no problem controlling the light. Um, I'm lucky to have a battery pack where I can relocate it at different place in my garden and find where I want to finally mount the product. Uh, which I'm going to do in daytime, but overall I'm really impressed. For £129 plus another, I think, 30 maybe £40 for this, um, you can have the basic setup for the outdoor light. I'm going to add a few more, like uh, up light or change a few of my light bulbs in the house to match. And um, yeah, so thank you, Amazon, for sending these products to me. Um, if you don't know about the Vine program, basically they send me products to review and I don't have to say anything good or anything bad. I have no obligation to say anything good or bad about this product. Um, like my other videos, I just give you the honest opinion of what I find the product is like. If you're looking for cheap, unfortunately this is not for you. But if you're looking for good quality and uh, something which will last for a long time and um, plug and play, uh, this is for you. So um, yeah, my video is all about showing you what you are buying. If you find my content useful, consider subscribing to my channel and help me grow. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.